Okay, so a little bit of beige and brown, and uh, I'll include the colors at the end, so be sure to watch till the end. And a little gift card, action receipt, to just to... Hmm. Balanced mixture of uh, red and pink here. Yeah, I like that. Here we are. Here's a finished piece for you. Voila! Uh, let's start with some gold leaf action. We continue and just kind of gently. There you go. <laughs> no matter how many times I do this, uh, always ends up dab dab. That's a little drum sound there, huh? Oh. <laughs> Eight by ten canvas is what I'm using, and I just apply just so here like that. Okay, so a little bit of beige and brown, and uh, I'll include the colors at the end, so be sure to watch till the end. And a little gift card, action receipt, to just to gently get this thing started. Like that. Here, like that. Yep, interesting. Mm -hmm. Always uh, turns out different, no matter how often I try this. A little dark brown here, just to see. Corner. Yeah, let's start blending these with some any kind of brush like that. That's fine. Just kind of some nice real estate right here. Very small, so nothing crazy. Let this one dry, this background dry for a little bit, and uh, we can apply the next set of colors. It's uh, like a one inch brush that I got a long time ago. A little, uh, let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the little uh, leaves here. Little leaves, little leaves right here. Right here. Yeah. A little tree action is what I'm going for here. So. I'm just gonna take it easy and let this uh, silhouette of the uh, leaf for this tree dry out and then we'll apply the second layer which is uh, more like a green uh, and then we can move on from there all right so here we are let's use a little bit of dark green here for this part a little dark green and uh, start building this dry it has been dried for uh, at least uh, an hour or so I'm just gonna start dabbing a little bit here and there, see what happens. Right here, like this. You can see this or not, there you go. Painting and talking is always hard, as I've said before, so I'll do my best. So here is this layer right here, darkest green. A mixture of this dark green, whatever is left over. I try to use most of the paint I have here. And before we go any further, I forgot to uh, add the tree trunk before I start to do the more details on the brand leaves here. So, okay, tree trunk right here like this. Spatula, just black. Also, also, you can just use some, if you like, extra credit, you can use some uh, toothpick. X, oops, sorry. <laughs> the wrapping came with it. Came along for the ride. And for the little finer detailed areas that you want to kind of suggest here. Right here, like this. You can do that as well. I'm not going to go too crazy with here. But uh, yeah, here and there. There you go. Next, maybe some texture here. Mm -hmm. Right. You can all 
also add a little yellow ochre here. A little bit of ochre, just to, if you're interested in adding a little bit more highlight right here. Oops, there were too much there. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Just here and there. Brazilian trees, right? Trees, some people, to me at least, represents growth. Always growing. The wind blows, rain, has to be resilient, right? In order to survive for long, long time. Some trees are hundreds and hundreds of years old. That's amazing, right? That's pretty amazing. And let's add some red here. I like some color now. I'm pretty to add some real full spectrum intense uh, red here to add some uh, life into it you know and let's do it here real red intensity because I've pretty much covered all the real estate when it comes to uh, I like the neutral color here so which I did that and we want to highlight this yeah I want to highlight it with some intense red vibrant right here dab dab here and there all right I like that. Yeah. Not sure what kind of tree this would be called, but uh, there you go. Sit down, let's there, you know, not too much. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Here, let's add some pink to this. Yeah, I like pink. One of my favorite colors here. Some pink. Here and there. Balanced mixture of uh, red and pink here. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, go. Okay, so back to this dark green and a little light green here. Let's finish things up for the, uh, we gotta have a ground, right? The ground that, that this wonderful tree, beautiful tree is standing from. I'm just kind of, yeah, let's see, right here like that. Perhaps we're just making a little suggestion. That's all we're doing, right? Yeah, that's all we're doing. The tip of this uh, mm -hmm. spatula, maybe indicating grass. Okay, got the grass here. So here and there, springing out. Life is all about growth, right? It's growing down here. There you go. Nothing too crazy. That's to balance overall. You can also use. Oh, back to our favorite toothpick. Toothpick action, if you like, when it's still wet. Just to. And you see how this uh, neutral color underneath kind of shows through when you do that, right? Yeah. Here's a little bit of a wet paper nap, uh, wet uh, wiping thing here that I got from Costco. What is this thing called again? That's right. Sorry. Flushable wipe is uh, what this thing is called. I just kind of. Well, I think I put a little bit too much detail in the grass area, but you guys get the point here. All right. Just don't make the mistakes that I'm making. Here. Uh, go. Here we are. Here's a finished piece for you. Voila. Yeah, it took uh, I don't know, a couple hours, two, three hours. Well, you have to count the. Uh, amount of time I uh, kind of waited letting it dry but uh, hey I hope you uh, like this piece uh, hope you were able to forget about your trouble while I was uh, creating this piece for you but wait there's one more Ta -da! this LED light so if you want to stick around I'll show you how I made this 
as a bonus, but uh, here you go. It's a little light action, lighting up a little uh, fire in the distance, or maybe it's a little sunrise or sunset, depending on how you uh, interpret it. But... All right, so I hope you guys uh, like this piece as much as I enjoyed uh, painting it for you, and uh, I hope to uh, see you again for another wonderful day of creation. Bye for now. All right, so this is the back of canvas here. Just kind of against this light, trying to uh, place these LED lights. All right, so here's the glue gun here, hot glue gun. See? I don't know if you can see this, but see that little distance between the LED light? And this canvas like that, so it diffuses it, you know. Hot glue, and I'm gonna put it on this side right here.